G'day viewers, I was reading an article today, yes, I was reading, don't freak out, it was an article in what seems like an endless line of these articles that you see about the place going, what's wrong with kids today, and the internet is making kids stupid, and by Christ I'm sick of that bullshit. I seriously think if you could find the oldest writing in antiquity, it would be complaining about kids, like scrawled on a cave wall somewhere are markings that mean, What's with these young people today? They won't listen, they've got no respect, and don't even get me started on that noise they call music. Look, I've put up with shithead kids about the place too, but every generation cops this crap from the older generation, and every older generation thinks they're having a harder time with a younger generation than happened before their time. It's just an endless cycle of bullshit. One of the things that really pisses me off about arguments about falling literacy standards or just general manners of behaviour in kids, it isn't as if kids have a lot of control over their environment. Kids don't run the schools that are failing to teach them. Kids aren't the parents that are setting the rules that govern the kids' behaviour. Kids sure as hell aren't the media who are just dumbing down public discourse so all we see are lies and trivialities. And kids sure as shit aren't in the government that are just making themselves rich and fucking over every possible alternative that might make things better. If things are going wrong, it isn't because kids are failing, it's because they're being failed. Like this ridiculous bullshit saying the internet makes kids dumb. So like the internet is the single greatest tool humans have had for propagating knowledge since the invention of the friggin' written word. And if you don't know how to use it properly, that's not the internet's fault. If all you see is gossip, triviality, rumour, innuendo, that isn't the fault of the internet, that is the fault of the people who spread all that bullshit. Do something positive. Look, I'm not just gonna rant, I'm gonna give you the answers. If you're a teacher, feel free to use these ideas. I'd love to know if they actually work in practice. And hey, if you're a student, take these suggestions into your teacher and you'll look really smart. A lot of people say when Google's used for research, no one goes past the first page of results. So kids shouldn't be allowed to use Google to do research for school assignments. That's bullshit. Use Google or another search engine, but in whatever bit of research it is, say the kids have to use at least three different sources they've found and they're not allowed to use anything that showed up in the first 50 search results. That'll get them working. Instead of saying you can't use Wikipedia as a reference source because it's unreliable, use Wikipedia, but the students have to refer to the talk page for the subject they're looking at, and they have to see the arguments that are going on about what should and shouldn't be in the article, and they have to find supporting evidence for whichever side they think is the most convincing. That is research. Translate a classical text that's being studied into TXT, text abbreviations. You know, it could be a play, prose, a poem, the Declaration of Independence, but have the students convert that into chat text abbreviations and then say, okay, what's been lost in that? What subtleties aren't in there? And as a real challenge, see if you can use text and maybe emoticons to add some depth that's not there with just plain text. Take a character who's being studied, now that could be a historical character or a fictional character, and have them use something on the internet, like write up what their MySpace or Facebook would be like. What sort of YouTube videos would they make? What sort of blog would they have? <laughs> I, I was trying to be all deep and meaningful there, but I have to admit the one image that came into my head for a historical figure in modern technology was the last text message of Anne Frank. It would be, LOL, the Nazis will never find me. They are so lame. Ruffle. <laughs> I am a bad, bad person.